So good afternoon, and thank you to all of the organizations who brought us together today to make good trouble. My name is Alicia Garza. I'm the principal at the Black to the Future Action Fund and the Black Futures Lab, and I'm one of the co-founders of Black Lives Matter Global Network. And I believe that black people deserve to be powerful in every aspect of our lives. Now we're here today because yes, we want Congress to pass the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act. And yes, we need Congress to pass the For the People Act. And yes, we must have statehood for DC. And though, bigger than that, we are here today because we intend to build power and we intend to use our power. Are y'all with me? We got to change how power works so that never again will anybody be denied their right to be fully human. Now, I don't have to tell y'all that protecting our right to vote is about power. Power is about making the rules and changing the rules. It's about deciding where resources go and where they don't go. Power is about deciding who represents us and what agenda they represent us on. Power is about who controls the story of who we are and who we can be together. It has always been about power, my friends, and the desire of a small group of people to hold all the power at the expense of you and me and the rest of us. Y'all, if they can keep power they know they can steal more resources from our communities, am I right? If they can keep power, they know they can keep us from having the health care we need, am I right? If they can keep power, they know they can keep us from the reparations we demand, am I right? If they can keep power, they can keep us from gender equality, am I right? They can keep us from housing, am I right? They can keep us from jobs if they keep our power. Is that correct? They know that to keep their power, they got to work hard to leave us out and leave us behind. That's why they rigged the rules, my friends, so that we don't ever get ahead. Now, they are working hard to keep us from our power, so we got to work even harder to build even more power so that we can unrig those rules. Am I right? Y'all ready to unrig the rules? Now, on this historic anniversary of the first march on Washington, please let us remember that history repeats itself until and unless people intervene to create a new path. Back then, President Lyndon B. Johnson told organizers he did not have the power to pass voting rights. But our people took our power, and we were relentless in our pursuit of justice. We did not allow process to interrupt progress. Now today, we face the same dilemma, the same challenges, the same rhetoric. They want to use bipartisanship as an excuse to not be bold with the power that we delivered in November and we delivered in January. Am I right? <coughs> This is not about bipartisanship. It's about the cowardice of people who know better but refuse to do better. We know they want to keep us from being powerful. So what do we do when we see our representatives lack the courage and the will to do the right thing? Well, as one of my mentors always says to me, it sounds like they need to be strengthened. So let's strengthen them, y'all. After this march today, light up those phones, clog those emails, hold vigils if you have to, bird dog them everywhere they go. Every single day until we win. We got to keep fighting until victory is won because there is too much at stake. When we fight, we win. Let's give it up one more time for our, our girl, Alicia Garza.